today we all gave a little talk saying how much we want to be on the team, how much we want our team to bond and things like that. And everyone just gave such positive energy saying, yes, we can do this. We can do all our work and we can be a family and all the, both that thing. Good. Now do Good. It. Speaking. Ready? <laughs> you know you love unique New York. You, you know, know you love, love unique New York. You know you love unique you, you know, know you, you love, love unique, unique New York. Now just wow. follow me. You know you love unique. You know you love unique New York. You know you love unique. Vanessa's New York. very you know you willing to go out on a limb. If I ask her to do a poem in front of the class, she's up and doing it. Even when I, when before she was as adept as she is now, she was always willing to get up and do stuff. You know, in class and in in with the poetry. I am the most pleasant motherfessant plucker to ever pluck motherfessants. I, I am the most pleasant motherfessant plucker to ever pluck motherfessants. Mother peasant. Somebody help me with that. Peasant, peasant, peasant. We have six people, and they're all really different. But I think this year Vanessa is kind of our leader, just because she's more experienced, but also because she. She's willing to go there, you know what I mean? She's honest and she's passionate and her example, I think, enables the other kids to bring out their gifts and so that we have this kind of collective spirit in a way. But Vanessa definitely helps to facilitate it for sure. At home, I cannot write at home because it's full of all these little kids running around and screaming and I just, you know, when I write, I have to be the place that's not, as, not quiet, but I have to be surrounded by people I don't know. Okay, thank you. Sexual harassment is off limits and will not be tolerated on Metro. Report any unwanted touching, comments, or gestures. My name is Gaspar. Guatemala is home. Home, but I don't think I'll be going back. In school, I try hard to stay awake, but my three jobs really give me enough time to sleep. I take a three hour bus ride from work to the taqueria stand close to home. The windows in the bus are wide enough for me to see the sunset. I try to catch a nap thinking if I wake up this nightmare will be over or I will be where I'm supposed to be. In the arms of my mother, she's combing my hair, or my father supporting me in un juego de fútbol. I don't like to think of them as angels taking care of me from heaven. I still want to feel their warmth even if they are unreachable. I wake up to the sound of sirens. My body starts shaking and I get ready to run. I have forgotten I was inside the metro and not in the lonely cold nights of El Rio Bravo. The next stop is where I get off. The taqueria stand is still there today. I was lucky enough to get here on time. I always order the same thing. Dos tacos de carne asada and a cup of champurrado. It's the only thing I can afford because French is coming soon. It's 5 a.m. and I'm finally home. I get ready to go to school, but my neighbor thinks I'm part of a gang. Once, my neighbor kept knocking on my door and asked if I had any weapons. I said I would help him look for it. Some nights, I forget how to pull the trigger. Mm. Oh my god, you yeah. hard. Make thy name, pave your path, make some change.